Hello, friends, and welcome to the Humanity Podcast. And this is the first real episode of it, because the last one was pretty much just an ad, or, like, explaining what I'm doing, not really an ad. But, today we're talking about the first, yes, first, quote-unquote, humans. And you'll see why I put quotation marks around humans in a second, because it, you'll see. Anyway... They originated in East Africa, and they lived about 2.4 to 1.5 million years ago, about. And to put in perspective how long ago that was, I mean, I know you already get how long ago 2.4 million years ago was, but to put it shortly, we started making permanent settlements and farm only 10,000 years ago. I put I say only, but compared to 2.4 million years, I mean, come on. They were discovered in 19 between 1960 and 1963 by Mary Leakey. Her whole family did this stuff, but she she was the main person who did it. But anyway, now let me get to the part that. Opinions may differ, but I do think it's the main thing why people say Homo habilis is actually Australopithecus, and Australopithecus is just a hominin. They have human-like features, but they aren't humans. They don't have the Homo genus. So, the reason why Mary Leakey classified them as humans is because some not even not all of the homo habilis in a lot of records have a brain size over 600 cc now some of them even have a lower than that which is how we define a human currently which should be changed but we define a human by 600 cc of brain size and some of them don't even have that. So, we can't really call these humans. And another thing people say is that they made tools, so that makes them human, doesn't it? Well, no. Just because Homo habilis means able man or handyman doesn't mean Australopithecus didn't also. Because we have, like, indefinite evidence that Australopithecus as well made tools like these neolithic tools were really just rocks that were beat with other rocks or bone and it they were really simple tools and i and i feel like what we classify as homo habilis was also working with australopithecus because they were that similar if different at all so, Australopithecus was, could also make these tools. These, so, it makes them no different at all. Like, at all. So, I think the way we should define humans is maybe teeth size, which shows, were they eating cooked food? Were they getting, like, fire? To cook their food and make it easier on them to eat. Um, I know there's a lot of other ways that people want to tell if they're human. And um, I can't remember them all right now, unfortunately. But you get it. In no way, shape, or form, in my opinion, was Homo habilis a human necessarily. And you can have differing opinions about that, and I wouldn't be offended, because they are just, they're kind of controversial, I quote on, like, not really controversial, but just something to talk about, really, unless you're some major scientist person. But, comment down below if you're on YouTube, I don't know what to do if you're on Spotify, but... If you're on YouTube, comment down below if you think Homo habilis would be considered a human. 
or you think Homo erectus, what we are going to talk about in the next episode is human. Well, Homo erectus is like indefinitely human. But is Homo habilis human? Tell me down below. And I'll see you in episode 3, where we'll be talking about Homo erectus. The thing that we can... De- the thing, more li- the the hominin we can 100% say has a homogenous and is human